Holy God, we face the power of sadness and need your voice against the world's song of woe. Deliver us from sadness that we might always hope in you and receive even our suffering as an opportunity to share your redeeming love for a broken world. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 1 through 45. Now a man was ill, Lazarus from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who had anointed the Lord with perfumed oil and dried his feet with her hair. It was her brother, Lazarus, who was ill so the sisters sent word to him saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, this illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, so when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just trying to stone you, and you want to go back there? Jesus answered, are there not 12 hours in a day? If one walks during the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of the world. But if one walks at night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. He said this and then told them, our friend Lazarus is asleep, but I am going to awaken him. So the disciples said to him, master, if he is asleep, he will be saved. But Jesus was talking about his death while they thought that he meant ordinary sleep. So then Jesus said to them clearly, Lazarus has died, and I am glad for you that I was not there, that you may believe. Let us go to him. So Thomas, called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go to die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary secretly, saying, The teacher is here and is asking for you. As soon as she heard this, she rose quickly and went to him, for Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still where Martha had met him. So when the Jews who were with her in the house comforted her, saw Mary get up quickly and go out, they followed her, presuming that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her weeping, 
he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you will always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. During this silence, as your thoughts wander, do not push them away or bring them forward, but refocus simply on peace.
please join me in the prayers of intercession. When I finish an intercessory prayer, I will conclude with through our prayers and your response will be, may your kingdom come. Let us pray. God of our fathers, God of our mothers, holy and just God of all nations, place in our hearts healing and reconciling love for one another. Grant that in all our actions and discourse, we would humble ourselves, praying in the name of the Christ and through our prayers, may your kingdom come. God of the lakes and the islands, God of rivers and glens, let us seek the face of your Son, turning from our wicked ways. Bring us into the light of Jesus as your earthly plan plays out, and the Christ enters triumphantly into eternal life. Through our prayers, may your kingdom come. Lord, we ask that you forgive our sin and heal our land, binding neighbor to neighbor, sister to sister, those with whom we agree and those with whom we disagree. Heal our brokenness with your love through our prayers. May your kingdom come. Triune God, hear the loud cry and the fervent prayer that your servant is praying in your presence this day. Be near to us as we call on you as we call on you in truth through our prayers. May your kingdom come. And now, Lord, hear us as we pray together the prayer taught us by your Son, Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And please join me in our concluding prayer. Almighty God, we praise you for all you have done. Help us with all that you want us to do. Come, Holy Creator, continue to strengthen our community of faith, St. Andrews, so that we do not labor in vain without you. Come, Holy Savior, and heal all that is broken in our lives and in our streets. Come, Holy Spirit, and inspire us with the willingness to continue to connect and reconnect St. Andrews to your honor and glory. Amen. Amen.